Sorry, I can't talk right now. The neighbor's screaming toddler is at it again. I just wanted to get them off the phone. Anyways, today I'll be painting on some phone cases. Come in. Not my phone case. My phone case is beautiful just the way it is. I bought a couple random ones in different colors. Pink, white, and black. Every color the rainbow forgot to include. No need to cry. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> but of course the dark side doesn't leave anyone behind. Stop crying. We're the good guys. I got these phone cases at Five Below. I finally made it out to Five Below and good thing because Walmart wanted to charge me $20 per phone case. That wasn't gonna happen. Target took it a step further. They were asking 25 bucks. The extra five for the cleaner wow. floors, I guess. Oh, missed a spot. But I ended up getting these at Five Below for five bucks each. This is starting to sound like an ad now, which I promise it's not. Obviously Five Below wouldn't sponsor me. I'm just really impressed with the prices and quality of their phone cases. And that's not all. Guess what else I found at Five Below? <laughs> we'll get to these some other week though. So definitely a huge shout out to everyone who recommended Five Below because it saved me a ton of money on my phone cases and my collection of My Little Ponies. So thank you. I love you. They're all iPhone cases. None of them actually fit my phone because I don't have an iPhone. Because iPhones are overpriced and overrated. But that's enough controversy for today. Five Below has good phone cases, great quality. They just don't have a variety of stock. It's basically iPhone or nothing. It's fine though. I'm sure I'll find some use for these phone cases or maybe I'll just use them as decor. We'll see. I started off by wiping down the phone case. I'm just using water, nothing too fancy. There was some dust and I just wanted to get off any fingerprints if I left any. Always remember to wipe the fingerprints. I wanted to clean the surface before I start ruining it. So first I sketched out what I wanted to paint. For this phone case, I'm bringing back one of my original characters. The deranged donkey who identifies as a unicorn. That's a toilet plunger on his head, not a unicorn horn. For those of you who don't remember him or haven't been loyal to the dark side. I made him in a paper squishy video, but I never really drew his whole body, just his face. So there's gonna be a full body reveal today. Ooh la la. While I was planning out what to draw, I actually drew two versions of him, a selfie and a full body shot. And like I mentioned, the full body version of course won over. I honestly really liked both versions, but the farting one just appealed to me more. He has a really big head. His body kind of looks stunted in growth which was intentional. I thought it looked more cartoony that way. I wanted it to look like that. <coughs> also, the toilet plunger has some water around it. There might have been some fresh plunging going on, or maybe that helps the toilet plunger stick to his head better. I'm not entirely sure where the water came from. I don't ask questions. All that matters is that he's happy. And he looks pretty happy to me. In fact, he's projectile salivating everywhere, so maybe even a little too happy. I guess he's just living his best unicorn life. Who are we to judge? My concept for this one is he's lifting off because unicorns can fly, right? I obviously wouldn't know. I don't even know what a unicorn looks like. But since he identifies as a unicorn, he thinks he can fly, but really he's just being propelled by his farts. Which happens to be a rainbow because I guess unicorns and rainbows go hand in hand. I obviously wouldn't know. He's really good at farting. In fact, I hear him and the Tutu Witch are starting a band called Backdoor Breeze. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. I was actually looking at your guys' answers on the community tab and it seems like the dark side apparently has no shortage of gas. If you're new here and you've ever tooted before, you should consider selling your soul to me by subscribing to my channel and ringing that bell thing so you don't lose me on the internet. I post new videos every Friday. I did make sure to make the rainbow in the correct order this time. Some people Sparkle butts. were not okay with the upside down rainbow or vibgayor as I like to call it. 
in one of my Create This Book episodes, and I thought, fine, I'll give in to the peer pressure just this once. So the next phone case I picked up was pink. <laughs> There was a hot pink phone case at Five Below, but I thought blush pink was more evil, so I went with this one. I actually think the pink case was a really good idea. It turns out to be my favorite phone case of all three. Not because of the color, but because of how it looks at the end, but also the color. That too. The color served as inspiration for what I'm going to draw on this one. I decided to draw the cannibal pig, another one of my original characters. When I first drew him, I drew him on his snack break. I've also showcased his glutes a couple times, and once even a headshot of him. This time though, I wanted to draw him at work. This is what he does for a living. Since he's a cannibal pig, I figured it would only be fitting for him to work as a butcher. He's got all the essentials. An apron, a giant meat cleaver the size of his head, and one of those dumb chef hats that real chefs don't ever wear. Please, Pay no attention to this here. Please help me. Nothing to see. The phone case itself is pink already, so I thought I would just outline the pig but not color him in. Since the background is pink itself, I thought I could just use it as his skin color. But the pig wasn't really popping. It was blending into the rest of the phone case a little too much, so I just colored him in with my Posca pen. Like the donkey, the cannibal pig is also very happy. Help me, please! You know what? The theme of this video is happiness. Ew. You can tell the extent of his joy because his tongue is sticking out. Just like the donkey, he's also salivating. Unlike the donkey, I actually do show the reason for the cannibal pig's salvation. Salivation? Not salvation. It's too late for that. He's holding the little piglet in his hand by its tail. You can tell the piglet is kinda squirming and wiggling out of fear for his life. That's what these lines mean. When I sketched out the cannibal pig on paper, before sketching him on the phone, I drew him more angry looking. He just kinda looks mad and, like, dangerous. I didn't want to give off that vibe though. I wanted him to look happy and a little more silly, so I ended up making him look more friendly on the phone case. Because remember, the theme of the video is happiness. Ew. And I wanted to stick to it. I was really hoping this pink one would fit my phone because I would have just shoved it onto it, but no luck. My phone's a chubby one. The reason I didn't order a phone case that would fit my phone online is because I don't have Amazon Prime and I'm kinda impatient. So when inspiration strikes, a lot of the times I just run out and grab what I need so I have everything ready to go. I wanted all three of my phone cases to be cohesive and kinda go hand in hand so I made them all farm related. E -I -E -I -O. For the last phone case, I decided to make a scarecrow instead of another animal. Keep things interesting, that's what I do here. But yeah, other than all the farm animals, you can also obviously find a scarecrow on a farm, if they're a real farmer. I've been using pencil to sketch out everything on the phone cases, but the pencil wasn't really showing up on the black phone case for whatever reason. I'm not entirely sure why that is. It wasn't anything wrong with the pencil. I switched it out and tried other pencils. <coughs> It just didn't want to show up on the black phone case, so then I had to disturb the colored pencils from their eternal slumber in order to find a fitting replacement. This'll do. I ended up using a white colored pencil to help sketch him on there. The donkey that identifies as a unicorn and the cannibal pig are two of my original characters that I've drawn a couple times before. The scarecrow is a bit more random. I've never drawn a scarecrow on my channel before. Plenty of scary stuff, just not a scarecrow. I just didn't want to do all animals. I gave him typical barnyard attire. He's wearing some blue jeans and a plaid shirt and a big straw hat. He has some puffs of straw coming out of his arms and legs. He doesn't actually have hands or feet obviously. He's just kind of stuck on his pole, tied to it. He has hollow black eyes and stitches for a mouth. I also added in a little straw that's sticking out of his mouth. Something to chew on so he looks more real to the crows. That'll scare him. I went in and drew some cross hatching on the hat. That way it looks more like a straw hat rather than a cowboy hat. Not that there's anything wrong with cowboy hats. I just don't know if a cowboy hat would look as evil. <laughs> and dark as I intended this piece to be. At the end, I like to go through and outline everything. The only thing is that this phone case is already black, so it makes it a bit hard to add a black outline. I still did add the outline. I just don't know if you can tell. As a finishing touch, I added some glossy varnish to each phone case. It helps ensure the paint doesn't crack off, and I think the glossy varnish makes it look more polished and cool. Oh no! <laughs> 
The piglet has escaped and the cannibal pig is starving. He hasn't eaten in the last 10 minutes. To avoid becoming his lunch, click on the top right or bottom left. 